And I was so in my body, and all of a sudden I just went, what? Are you talking about? <laughs> it's almost like all I see is a floating, a floating head with he this blonde, blonde head, head with the screen in the back. I love it. Kevin and Peter, so nice to meet the two of you and Hello. congratulations on this film. I have always loved watching the Planet of the Apes films growing up with my dad. They were like a staple in my childhood and it made me think because the Planet of the Apes is one of the biggest franchises in cinematic history. I have those core memories of watching them with my dad growing up. What are those movies that you grew up with and watched with your families. Uh, this, yeah, well, when Planet, my dad also was a huge fan of of cool. the franchise, and it would always sort of be on the and on in the background. And, and one day, I actually stopped and paid attention to it. And I think it was when the, when I saw uh, the, the 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 human beings in cages. And then the and the apes on the other side. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not yeah. what I that's not what I normally see. What is this? Yeah. Um, so that really drew me in and took me in. Um, and it was confusing and wonderful. Um, and you know, and it's just been it's sort of in the zeitgeist this whole time. So like, and to to, to become a part of that now, it, it, mm -hmm. it's nothing short of a you know, it's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's yeah. an honor to get yeah. to help carry on this this lineage mm -hmm. um, of. For me, it, it was it was Planet of the Apes. It was That's 68 awesome. version, and um, yeah, I used to uh, shake and quake behind the couch, <laughs> uh, <laughs> watching it, and just kind of peek over and be like, "Oh, yeah, they're talking. The apes are talking. <laughs> Mom, the apes are talking." And uh, and um, <laughs> you know, it, it was uh, it was so stimulating, so compelling, so terrifying at the same time. Trying to process what was happening. It made me want to become an ape, and uh, my ape runs and all that behavior stuff started then. So when I got cast as the role, and I called my mom back oh. home, and I said, Mama, I'm, I'm the king of, of the apes, and she just started laughing so hard. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what's so funny? She was like, for the very first time in 30-something <laughs> years that you've been working, you're perfectly typecast. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What a cool story. Yeah. Well, obviously, both of your characters, Proxima Caesar and Raka, they have very distinct voices. And mm. I loved how Proxima like, carried himself. So I'm curious how you actually like found the mm. movement for him. Because like Raka had his gentleness, but Caesar had was like a very like the way he even approached other apes was very different. So how did you find that? The first step was going through ape school. Uh, with Alain Gautier, who really, uh, who's this great artist, but also a scientist, and he broke down the biological parameters, the anatomical parameters that, uh, basically, the law of movement for apes, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, uh, the way that the ribs are almost connected to the hips, so there's no torsion, all these different things that inform movement. So once we went through all of that, um, then Alain, I had ape school just with him because I, I came into the party late and he he asked me a question and I was so in my body and all of a sudden I just went what are you talking about I have many things to tell you and he just kind of went uh, just one second he went and grabbed his phone he's like do that again That's it. and he filmed it and sent it to the director and really the character for me was born out of this I don't know where that came from, yeah. uh, but it came organically yeah. through the movement. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, that's how I, I, I found. That's great. That's uh, great. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you for doing the voice for me. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps coming. My, my yeah. wife is actually saying, okay, you yeah. finished shooting this show over a year. Can you stop with the Proxima? Voice? <laughs> it's so different from your normal voice. Yeah. It's like right thing. <laughs> Similar, just, like yeah. through through the school, through the training. Um, and so, you know, the difference, the fun thing about being in Ape Camp was that uh, orangutans are vastly different mm. than bonobos, than gorillas, than chimpanzees. They're very chill, they're very, they just, but they're, the, the economy of movement, because they use their, both their hands and feet, feet, their hands and feet similarly, yeah. uh, and they, so learning how to 
walk sort of through the world, uh, you know, and that informed how I'm thinking about the world. And Raka's a bit of an archaeologist and a bit of a, a scientist. And apes, uh, 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 orangutans are very solitary creatures. Yeah. So, like, we would be, you know, milling and seething together. And then, like, but, like, my rhythm is always was different. But yet, I'm the chattiest ape in the movie. So, like, well, he's pretty yes. chatty. But, like, but, um, so just learning how to, to calibrate that was, was, was a very interesting challenge. And so, my movement would inform like the way that I'm thinking about the language, but yet I'm talking fast sometimes, and it's coming out like because I am excited about it, and I really want you to. And he's almost beside yeah. himself, and he can't. So, you know, and I just kind of let all of that work on me, and I just try lots of stuff, um, take after take after take, and trying things, you know, again within the parameters of of the physicality, but you know, just always thinking about new things and just coming up because it was like this wild curiosity so it's like <laughs> you know almost like this uh that kind of feeling yeah. um and that helped you know just inform how i would interact with my fellow castmates very very cool i wanted to be bff with him he's he's, he's a he's a likable fellow he he's is very lovable yes um, the well, only one that doesn't like him is proximus yeah well literally. and you don't even he doesn't yeah. even but you yeah, don't but he like, just doesn't like orangutans no he but he has like, an issue with orangutans mm -hmm. And he has an issue with, pro you know, you're, it's interesting because the interpretation is so big in here. Mm -hmm. Raka's interpretation of the word of Caesar is so vastly different than the interpretation that Proximus mm -hmm. has. So, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they collide, exactly. even though they ne never really meet. Maybe yes. we yeah. met in the past. Yes. Well, I, I know about you. I don't yeah, like yeah. what they're up to yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, stay away from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go over there. so yeah. fun. I yeah. could chat with you all day, but oh, they are wrapping you. me. Congratulations right, on this fantastic. film, and I'm excited to see this one with my dad. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you, guys. So how do you dad? From Congratulations to the two of you on this film. I grew up watching the original Planet of the Apes films with my dad, so I'm so excited to bring him to see this one. And it honestly got me thinking because the Planet of the Apes is such an iconic franchise in cinematic history and it was a core like memory in my childhood. What were some of those films for you that you grew up watching kind of like over and over again with your families? Harry up? Potter. Same. That was my life. Yeah. It's still my life. <laughs> <laughs> Which house are you? Well, okay, don't get me started. Um, I think I've been told I've done it many times. Okay. Um, I was Gryffindor, but now I'm Ravenclaw. I think I'm Ravenclaw too. Yeah, I'm we discussed this. Yeah, we're both Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw buddies. Ravenclaw um, buddies. I was Green. not. I oh, know Green Slytherin. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. I messed up. Sorry. How could you? No, 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 no! Just talk to me. Ignore um, that. Ignore that. Ignore I was that. not a Harry Potter kid. I my first like big blockbuster experience was actually King Kong, oh, um, wow. with with Andy. Yeah. Uh, and that's a big part of why I'm an actor. But then after that, I was a I was a Lord of the Rings kid. I was I was a massive Rings nerd. Oh my God, yes, so, so good. No, yeah. I, all of those are great choices. Yeah. Well, one of my favorite scenes in the film is when Nova is on Noah's back and they're climbing up mm. the, the rock climbing. And I know you guys did this with motion capture. Take me back to set that day. How many times did they have to do this? Because it was like one of the best scenes in the film. Well. well. <laughs> she is, in fact, on my back. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was on a harness and Very she cool. was in a harness. and. Yeah. Um, and I think they were taking, like, they were giving me a little bit of assistance, but for the most part, I was like, no, I want, you know, I want to feel like I'm you climbing suffer. up a wall with a human on my back. And, wow. Um, fortunately, you're not <laughs> large. Heaviest. So, um, yeah, so it was, it was, it was fun. And then that was our favorite line in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh, great yeah, line. Yeah, that yeah. line. Yeah, I May love teaching Noah how to curse. Yes. Yeah. One of the Why is that also so best. aligned with us? I was gonna I'm not saying really I'm teaching is. you how to curse, but no, I am but, teaching. But you're definitely a flexing bit... your mind muscles. Yes. Well, in a certain way. In a certain way. Yeah. And, and you do yeah. it in a more anyway, whatever. <laughs> you're like teaching him some slang. Well, yeah, well, slang and maybe Maybe just warping just... things a little bit. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I had a slightly uh, dirtier sense of humor by the end of the movie you than I like had that. started it yeah. with. That's it. And oh. that was all her. That you was guys good. are hilarious. I corrupted him. <laughs> you corrupted yes, she him. Did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm also obsessed with the scene. It's in the trailer, too, where mm. Nova is running towards Noah, and mm. you have to kind of jump up on that horse. Talk to me about how you guys filmed that sequence, too, because that was so incredibly intense. And I was wondering Sorry, how many mad. times you had to do it. Yeah. yeah. I had to do, I, yeah, I was hot that day as well. Oh. And, um, yeah, I had to, those reeds were surprisingly hard to run through. So I was like struggling She's to get She's like a through. pro runner. She's like really good at like 
and like your form is. You literally like, ran less. this whole movie. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks. I, that is not me on horseback, though. That is my my riding double. Yeah. So I, I basically I had know. to. I I ran and there was this log, and I had to run up the log, and then I had to put my arm out. They did it without. They did it without the horse that time, I think, because of like it was too dangerous, obviously. So I'd have to put my arm out and just jump off the log. Yeah. It looked really. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like an idiot, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I actually don't think they used my one for that. I don't know. I, I looked at it and I was like, I don't think that's me. Um, but I, tr I tried. I did it. I attempted it. The scene looked really, really cool, though. Yeah, well, what is amazing. The stuff that they're, that they do with, with, with our data, our performances, the, the world. It's like, these are the best artists in the world who are working on this film. Congratulations yeah. to the two of you. I'm so excited to bring my dad to see this one in theaters. I hope he loves it. Yeah, I, really I think like he, yeah, There's some really cool like Easter egg stuff in there. That yeah, for sure, the for sure. Music the music. Oh yeah, the music. Oh my God. I'm going to talk about that. Paisano killed it. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Incredible score. Well, hi, I'm Lauren Veneziani here in gorgeous Los Angeles speaking with the cast for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and I'm about to meet a new friend named Jasper. Jasper? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. This is the coolest part of my job right here. He's so awesome. Say hi, Jasper. Thanks everyone, stay tuned for the interviews. Oh my God, how fun. <laughs> oh, he's really light.